In this video, I'm gonna give you three stats you can basically focus on that will increase your damage. However, I'm going to keep it at a very basic level so that anyone can follow along and then anyone will, by the end of it will know, I'm just gonna go try to get those stats on my items and my damage will go up. However, if you want a more long form breakdown, there's someone who's already done a better job than I ever could in explaining this in a very long written form everything from additive, the multiplying bonuses, the math behind it. There's even people in the comments adding in. This guy's even got the formula for it. So I'm gonna put this in the pinned comment because I think this person did a ton of work in explaining this as well as has some really good information and breakdown, uh, which would be fantastic information for you. So if you want more of a longer form read through, I would send you in that direction. But if you're looking for a basic explanation of just damage and some stats that I can point your nose in the right direction, here we go. So there's really three things I'm gonna to explain to you today that I think you should fo focus on. The first one is going to be making sure your base damage is as high as possible. You might ask, what is base damage? Well, base damage is if we look at a skill and you see here, conjuring a swirling tornado deals 7,305 to 8,900. But when I use this tornado, it can do up to a million damage. So obviously there is a very big gap between it says what the move does and what the damage when I actually use it does at the end of it. And I'm going to explain how to get there. So what we need to do is we need to first increase your base damage, which is effectively what we're looking at here. And this can be accomplished one way. For instance, if I remove my weapon and you look at this you can see it does zero damage now because we have zero attack power because the attack power's base is starting with the damage on my weapon so one of the things we need to know is better weapon better base damage that's a very basic understanding but it's more than that because each of the classes have their own stat that increases skill damage as well for instance for druid it would be skill uh, or willpower for sorcery it would be intelligence etc so check out what class uh, has your skill damage percentage in it. And if you ramp that skill damage percentage, that is going to effectively ramp your base damage of this skill. So that is how we increase the base damage. We're looking for the stat of your primary. We're looking for the damage of your weapon effectively. So now that you've got that part figured out, now what we're going to do is take that base stat damage that we've increased as much as possible and we're going to multiply it by two basic things that will give us as high of damage as possible. Now there is a very obvious one which is critical strike. So if we can critical strike, we can increase the bonus of damage that we are doing, which is a multiplier type of bonus. So we want critical strike chance to be as high as possible so that we get the opportunity to apply that critical strike damage. Now we can accomplish this by gloves very often, web critical strike damage, as well as critical strike, lucky chance, attack speed, etc., which are other great stats, but mostly we're talking about critical here. So your gloves can give you critical, your rings can give you critical. So you're really looking to try to get that critical strike chance in every opportunity you can. Now that we have the opportunity to critical strike, obviously we want to apply as much critical strike damage modifiers as possible so that when we're getting the percentage, it doesn't just have the base value of 50%. So let's say I do a thousand damage with a tornado. I have zero bonus critical strike. I only have the base value of 50%. When I do have the critical strike happening, I will now do 1500 damage because it's an additional 50% because it's a multiplier. Okay, so you can understand exactly how that works. Now, if we increase our critical strike bonus to 216% and we're doing 1,000 damage, instead now we're doing 2,160 damage. So that is one such very obvious way that we can increase the damage. But there is another stat that will help us increase our overarching damage that is accessible to everybody. And we can get this either in Paragon, we can get this in, in Skill Tree. Everyone's got access to this. Some people have access to better versions than others. But for instance, it's the vulnerability stat. So being able to make somebody vulnerable is the same thing as critical striking for the sakes of damage, because what it does is it gives us another multiplier that happens after all the other calculations. So let's say we have a 20% increase, because if you actually look at vulnerability here, and just bear with me one moment, if you go to the vulnerability, you're gonna see there is a 20% base increase in the, why can't I find this? Oh, there, this vulnerable damage. 20, has a base value of 20%. So let's just say we have the base value of 20%. We do a thousand damage with the tornado. We have the base value of 50% from the critical strike. So we have the 1500 damage after it criticals. Now we have a 20% increase in terms of multiplier, which is another 300 because 20% of 1500 is 300. So now we're actually doing 1800 damage. Okay, so we went from a thousand to 1800 with no additional 
uh, percentages, just the base values, right? But if we crank the vulnerability up to we have 140% on here, when we multiply it, it, the numbers can get very big very quickly, which is why when, once we critical strike with vulnerability, the numbers can go uh, skyrocket effectively and where you can start seeing these very high numbers. So the first thing you want to do after you've solved your, make sure you have critical strike, make sure you have critical strike damage, is now you want to think about, okay, I need to add vulnerability onto my character so I have another opportunity to multiply my damage again. And that is how you're gonna go from like 30,000 damage to 500,000 damage because now you have an additional way of, of modifying your damage. Keep in mind, there is much more nuance to this all, and which is why I point you in the direction of here, if you wish to understand added the bonuses and how they work, it's because all of these things, damage versus slowed, crowd controlled, et cetera, a lot of these other ones are in something called buckets, which I don't want to get into because it's a very uh, hard to understand and hard to explain concept for the purposes of a basic introduction. But effectively, you add all these together and that's sort of its own sort of multiplier, but they don't work fundamentally the same way where they all multiply after each other. They sometimes multiply at the same time, depending upon which one we're talking about. So for the sakes of this, for a general purpose conversation, you just want to increase your damage and you want to know, I want to know a very simple way to do this increase your base stat, which is going to be willpower, intelligence, strength, dexterity, depending upon your class, increase the weapon of, or the damage of your weapon, either by getting a higher item power weapon, make sure that you upgrade your weapon, etc., and then increase your critical strike damage, as well as your critical strike chance, so you both have the opportunity to critical strike more, as well as deal more damage, and then from there, you're going to increase your vulnerability damage, and have opportunities to make them vulnerable by adding them onto skills, etc., and now you have a trifecta of three very basic ways to increase your damage, and if you do all three of these, these are the surefire way right out of the gate just to make sure you give as much damage as possible with minimum having to understand how the game actually works. That's about it. If you want more information, I would point you in the direction of this gentleman who has already done a fantastic job breaking down everything in detail. But for the purposes of a basic conversation, that's all you really need to know.